Hey, RB, this one is for you since we uh, discussed this a little bit last night at the meetup of how to actually set up a um, account and start doing some demo trading, some dummy trades. Um, so I'm going to walk you through an actual transaction and then show you kind of where you would do this same thing via this try demo here where you can actually, you know, load fake money and practice your trade. So this is a great way to actually do your first trade to make sure that you don't mess anything up. Um, sometimes when I'm new, like I'm actually new, this is hit BTC that I'm using here. Um, I'm going to move this over so you guys can see this a little bit, but I'm actually new to hit BTC. You see it there up in the top corner. And so, you know, a lot of times I'll just actually do a small amount first to make sure that I did it correctly and kind of learn and teach myself the process. Um, tutorials help a lot on YouTube. So this is kind of a little tutorial of how to actually do your first trade. So I am going to be live trading I'm going to do a buy of a coin that I've been hearing a lot about called Sun Contract SNC. It's gone up 7,200% since its launch, and they're launching their platform um, for new technology on December 5th, which includes decentralized energy, believe it or not. So I'm still kind of um, learning about it, but I encourage you guys to check it out as well. Um, there's a, a, the white paper on it. That's what it looks like at suncontract.org. So I definitely encourage you guys to, uh, you know, check it out and see for yourselves. Okay, so I'm going to go into the account tab here. After you create your account, you'll go to hitbtc.com, create an account, and then you go to the accounts tab. Okay, so that part's pretty simple. You have to verify it through your email like you would normally do on any account. I am going to fund my wallet with Ethereum. Now, these are the different instruments in which you can fund your wallet. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and the USD Tether. So I'm going to actually go with Ethereum today. And um, now what you do, I'm not going to actually walk through the deposit portion, but I'll walk you through it. So the first thing you do is go into deposit because you're going to need to put some funds into uh, hit. BTC. So uh, most of you guys have probably done a send transaction at this point. And if you haven't, if this is your first one, you'll simply go to your wallet, tap on wherever you find send from whichever coin you want to send it to. Again, Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Bitcoin Cash or USD Tether. Two ways you can do it. One, you find the little QR code and you can send it that way by holding your phone over top of this exact QR code here and it will automatically pick up the wallet address and you can send the amount that you wish to send that way or you can copy and paste this wallet address or copy it here if you have um, you know your wallet open in your your uh, web browser or on your hard drive you can copy this address in it to where you want to send the money to okay so I've already done this portion of it so um, that's what we're gonna take a look at here so that's all I did I waited a couple minutes and as you can see um, it goes right into your uh, well let me back up for one second I'm gonna move this over just to show you guys real quick how easy this is so once I fund it from my wallet it's gonna put it into my main account but I need to trade it right so I'm gonna actually move it over into the trading account let me close this out and just kind of refresh it here cuz I don't think it, oh you might allow me to okay let's see if it'll allow me to move it back over into the trading account yeah so now you can see it moved over into the trading account and we're ready to trade so very very simple so now I go into the exchange and I've already actually kind of you know pulled up SNC already uh, so I can see it and I'll move this over so you guys can see we are on SNC ETH trade here okay and I'll move that back over just so we can see what I'm doing I'm going to go to the SNC coin. It's going to show me what it's doing. Um, again, it's up, you know, 7,200% since they launched it. So that's a, a pretty darn good climb there in a short period of time. So we're going to slide down here and we're going to go and buy some. Now we have to buy some from a seller and it looks like the best asking price from a seller right now. It's going to be that price. So I'm going to click it and accept that price. Um, I'm in under the limit tab. So kind of very important here. And I'm just going to put in 200 coins. And as you can see, my balance is 0 0.06 ETH and that's 0.57 ETH. So I definitely should have enough to do that. If for some reason you don't, um, so let's put in like 300 because you did the calculations wrong. It's not going to allow you to do it. You're going to get an error message that comes up right here. 
So you're going to put it in. Sometimes you have to remember that you got to pay a transaction fee. So sometimes what's going to happen is it's going to decline your transaction, even though the amount of coins you're buying is less than, you know, what you have in your account. And you're like, well, why is it going through? Because you're not figuring in the transaction fee. So all you can do is simply use these little buttons right here and move them up and down and keep trying until it allows you that amount of coins. So then when you're ready, you want to buy, I want to buy 200 coins. That's the best asking price right now. That's going to be my total that's going to be subtracted from my ETH balance, my Ethereum balance. I'm going to go ahead and click buy, and it just placed my buy right there. And then we can go ahead, I'm going to move this over again so we can see. Oops, there we go. And that is really it. Um, pretty simple. Oh, look, it already credited. I was going to show you where you can see my orders and trades, which is down here in the bottom. Um, that's actually where we're going to go. But you can see up here at the top, it already credited my account. So I have 447 SNC at this point. Um, I'm just going to leave it in there until their launch and see what happens. And then who knows, maybe I'll buy some more. Maybe I'll sell it back to ETH. You know, who knows what I'm going to do. Just going to kind of watch it and see what it does. But you can actually see these are like my filled orders from today. You can go into your trade history and everything right here so that is it it's really simple now what you would do is you would open up a wallet um, that holds that coin that SNC coin go back into your account and then you will actually you know scroll down until you find it here which is going to be way down because it's in the S's and you're going to transfer that back into um, there it is you can see it's in there right so we're going to click on this Oops, I didn't mean to go to trading. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, so I'm in SNC. And what I'm going to do now, once it shows back up there, okay, is I'm going to transfer it back over into um, my withdrawal. And then I can come over here and actually withdraw it. So we would send that. I'm, I'm not going to do it right this second because um, I'm going to probably end up buying some more. So I will hit this arrow and send it back into this main account. And then from my main account, I can actually go over to the withdraw. So that's, you know, adding and withdraw, right? You're sending it out. And then all you will do is, again, put the address of the wallet for the SNC in here. And, um, you know, the amount that it is, which you can just copy and paste that total amount, put it in there. And it'll tell you what you're going to receive because, again, it shows your fees right down here, right? And then you'll hit withdraw. Now, if you have your two-factor identification code on, which you all should have, we want to extra protect our account. It's going to ask you for a code. You can hit withdraw. Anytime you're going to take money out, it's an extra security measure. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. In fact, don't even make it an option. Learn how to do two-factor. It's very, very simple. It's just an app on your phone. Anyway, hope that helps. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.